Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes, and in this video lecture, I'm going to explain some of the properties of the determinant, and I'm going to prove those properties by using a matrix A of order two by two. So, given that A is equal to two one three five, let's find the determinant of A, and I hope everyone has the idea how to find the determinant of a two by two matrix. So, we multiply the diagonal entries first, and which gives then in this case then we put the negative sign and then we multiply the off diagonal entries and in this way you can see the determinant of a is equal to 7 okay so now let's assume that there is an other matrix b which is obtained by swapping the rows of a so b is actually equal to 3 5 2 and 1 and if I find the determinant of this new matrix B, which is obtained by the swapping of the rows, you can see that the determinant of this matrix will be equal to 3 minus 10, which is equal to minus 7. And we can also say that which is equal to the negative of the determinant of A. Fine. So in this way, we conclude that when we interchange any two rows or any columns of a matrix A, then the determinant becomes negative so this is the first property of the determinant fine so this is the first property that we have discussed so far okay now let's find the inverse of a in order to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix we can use the formula a joint of a divided by the determinant of a fine and for finding the adjoint of a what we do, we actually swap the diagonal entries of the matrix. So, 5 will be switched at the position of 2 and 2 will come at the position of 5. 5 while the rest of the entries will switch their signs. Okay. So, this is the adjoint of A. Now, in order to find the A inverse, we can write it as this comes to be 5 divided by 7 minus 1 divided by 7 minus 3 divided by 7 and then 2 divided by 7. Alright, now let's find the in determinant of the inverse of A. So we will have 5 twos are 10 over 49 then minus 3 over 49 on simplification mm -hmm. we will get 49 or 7 divided by 49 when we will simplify this expression further we will get it becomes 1 over 7 which is actually equal to 1 over determinant of a and from here we can conclude the second property which says determinant of a inverse is actually equal to 1 over determinant of A. So this is the second property of the determinant. While this was the first one that I mentioned. Okay. Now let's see. The second or sorry third property. Assuming that we multiply A with A. So we have 2, 1, 3, 5. And then again I am going to multiply it with 2, 1, 3 and 5 okay so let's just find the product of these matrices so 2 into 2 4 plus 3 it becomes 7 then 2 plus 5 it's also equal to 7 then 6 plus 15 it becomes 21 while 3 plus 25 becomes 28 fine okay so from here we can see that it becomes 196 minus 147 if i find the determinant of this a square so determinant of a into a basically fine and when you will subtract these two terms you will get 49 which can also be written as 7 into 7 or in other words, we can say that this is basically 
so determinant of a square is actually equal to determinant of a into determinant of a so this is the third property okay according to this definition we can extend this theorem for determinant of a raised to power 5 like it can be written as determinant of a into a into a into a into a which is actually equal to determinant of a into determinant of a and then again determinant of a into determinant of a and then finally determinant of your which means five time multiplication of the single determinant of a so for the generalized representation we can write it as determinant of a raised to power k is actually equal to k times determinant of a very simple all right let's move to the next property of the determinant according to which assuming that the we multiply the entire matrix a with some constant k so k times of a when a is equal to 2 so what happens 2 times of a if i find this thing i'll have it becomes 4 it becomes 2 it becomes 6 and it becomes 10 and when i will find the determinant of 2 times of a so it will be equal to 10 4s are 40 minus 6 2s are 12. Okay, so this is equal to 28, which can also be written in the form of the determinant. So the determinant of A was equal to 7. So 28 divided by 7 gives me 4. So it can also be written as 4 into 7 which is this 7 is actually corresponding to determinant of a while this 4 can be written in terms of 2 as 2 raised to power 2 all right so what does it mean it means k raised to power 2 into determinant of a and what is 2 2 is actually the order of the square matrix okay so for any matrix of order m the k times of a will transform the determinant of k a equals to k raised to power m times determinant of a all right so these are the properties we have discussed so far another property that we can also write is determinant of a into b is actually equal to determinant of a into determinant of b and you can verify this property by taking any matrix b of your own choice and then you can verify it by yourself thank you for watching